Hi guys, it's Maika. Today I'm back with an organizational and storage video. I started in December, I think with around Christmas and New Year with this system. And um, I actually started with this really old small binders. These are A5 size. Um, and they're from school. <laughs> you might recognize him. And um, they're 35 years old at least. No, that's my dad. And uh, I had three of them and there was actually an ABC you know a divider thing in there that was all crumbly because the plastic was all corroded so this is only Caroline design and that already takes up the one binder and you can see it, uh, it discolored a little bit over the years and the others is just printer paper that I cut in half and then put punches a hole in it and this was my old system Actually, my old system was a basket, and I put them in here. I thought that would make it nicer, but these really intricate ones kept catching. And that's uh, maybe a combination of flimsy stencils, flimsy pockets, uh, flimsy patience, I don't know. But <laughs> So, I think they lasted two, three weeks maybe, and I put them back in the binder. And now I have seen a, a video or a photo from Clearly Besotted, the owner uh, Stephanie, she put them in a nice binder, A5 size as well, just the small ones. And she had sturdy pockets and a sturdy colored card behind it. She used hot pink, but uh, I went for this one <laughs> and one that wasn't in my delivery, lilac. So I thought I could, you know, choose the binders because the 10 binders in rainbow, they were in two of those really big ones. But because I started with the A5 size, that didn't really make any sense. But yeah, these are crystal clear and the heaviest I could find. And I ordered five packs, so that's 50 pockets and I thought 100 sides should be enough but i ran out <laughs> uh, i threw out quite a few of my you know temporary cardboard stencils if i need them i will make them again some i don't even like anymore or um once i never used they they will just be gone from now on <laughs> and you see this is the clearly besotted one i put them in my stamp pockets and I think I, I chose, you know, minty green because that's a nice soft color. But if it's a, um, like that hot pink that Lily Besotted used, it would show better. Or maybe black even, but then you can't really write on it. And I don't want to get my label maker out. <laughs> and some fit really well. This is 6x6, but A5 is you know, kind of 6x6. See, these are really strange shapes, stencils from deco time. I never used them. And I kept them um, carpet they were in. So I will put them back in there. And then I'm just trying to match the brands. And if they don't fit because they're a little bit bigger, then I cut open the sides here and there. Um, just I didn't keep the packaging I usually try to keep the packaging but that's why I wrote the name and stencil name on it as well and maybe you can cut off just a sliver on the sides but I didn't want to do that and now some of them are really like undulating inside the pocket I'm not sure if that's going to affect my stencil but we'll see won't we so <laughs> and i have to say putting some of them in there they kind of drove me crazy like last time because they're so bendy and open and they catch everywhere but yeah then i thought i might not use these that much so we'll just oh, that this one yeah i think this was the reason i went back to the basket <laughs> Yeah, I'll put it aside. I don't like it. No, I hate it. But then that's a fall. Well, I will just cut it open and see if they stay inside. And they kind of do. Um, but um, <clears throat> it's 
probably because they're in a binder, they won't fall out that much and they keep them together. But I put uh, painter's tape on the side as a you know, kind of a clasp to keep it close and I can easily open it if I need to. But it gives it a bit more room and it's easier to put it back. Because that's most important. Otherwise I know I will not grab it. Because that would just drive me nuts. And I did try to put all the brands together. And I put some in one pocket. Like all, all the ocean ones. Put them in one. And then the packaging. If I have it and it fits, I will put it in. But it's, you know. The homemade ones, I put them in the front. This one I made with all kinds of Carline design heart finnets. But the sensor, I didn't like it when it turned out I haven't used it. I, well, I used it once to test it. I didn't like it. And this is also a finlet from Simon System. One of the Raver dies. It's called Pebbles. But I, I got it from stencil sheet. And see, here's the uh, actual plate. Yeah, I like it. I, I made a um, rainbow card with it. Because it's called Pebbles, I saw giraffe. And with the rainbow, it kind of turned into a crazy paving. But that was really fun. I should stop playing with my little Coca Cola lid there. Sorry, <laughs> he kept chopping it. And uh, then there's um, the floral wreath. I couldn't remember the name, so I was looking for it. And I came across these two hearts that I have from Summer System as well. And you can die cut these as well from the same stencil material or cardboard if you want. They might make nice stencils. We'll try that next time. But yeah, so what I what will do is just, you know, try and put them all together. I came across two packs that I have already and <laughs> it doubles. But it's okay. I didn't use them, I kept them. Maybe I will do a giveaway. When I look at them at the sh shops, I don't remember what was in there. And because they're from Cuff Sensations, you never know if <laughs> they'll come back into the shops. So I just grabbed them. And they were really cheap, actually. I think, um, well, uh, 79, 99 cents for five stencils. And they're quite sturdy and pretty. And some you have to weed because the, the inset is still in there. But uh, that's okay because. I don't mind for 79 cents or let's say a dollar. So I went off for my mask. This is also homemade balloon stencil that I made. This one, actually balloon dies, but I don't know if I'm ever going to use it. I'm keeping it for now, but I made it for artist trading coins. So here's one I cut open. And... Um, Some of them I know the names, I don't really need to write it down, but it's a good reminder for when I use them. If I have to blog about them or something like that, then, you know, it might escape me at that <laughs> moment. You know how that is. Like that floral wreath thing. Yeah, I think it's called floral. floral. I don't know. And this is from a card kit from Creator Smile Snowflakes. And I have the card kit in a pouch in my Christmas basket with all the stamps and ephemera that came with it. But I put a stencil in here for some reason. Yeah, I was looking for the name. I think it's HS Heidi Swap something. <laughs> And then where if you put the cardboard in it, it will slide out. But otherwise it kind of sticks to the plastic, of course. And yeah, that's just me doing this. And I will see, I, I um, had to put them in a big binder where my stem catalog was in. And the stem catalog, I moved that to the Pretty Rainbow. Um, and it's now eight small binders instead of two big ones 
<laughs> and that's uh, mostly because I have put normal ones and Christmas separate in the big binders. But then sometimes I don't know, is it winter, is it Christmas? And, and, and I had to look for two binders. And now I just have them by brand on ABC. So I have um, A for art impressions, alt and new. Um, B, I have one B as Brutus Monroe. <laughs> C, I have lots of C. The Carline Design, of course, has his own binder. And uh, clearly besotted, CC Design, Crafting Desert Diva, stuff like that. Yeah, crafting Motions. See, this is all stuff that's in the basket. The round one won't fit. So in the end, I put all the big ones. Also the, uh, the turning one for... Uh, the, the the stamping tool. I put them in a in a big one in the back, so they are all together. And the round one actually might be from <laughs> a cake. I don't know where I got it from, but this is the big binder, and it it yeah it. it I think I like the 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 minty green. Uh, lilac would have been better, but yeah, it didn't come in. <laughs> And then, see, I'm, I'm flicking through it quite quickly. But you get the idea. Now I can choose which one I have easier. And I might be able to find all the ones with the bubbles that I did last time. And if they bend because they don't fit, see, that's the extra one. <laughs> I had one extra and no more pocket. I see that's the weeding. Yeah, it's, it's fine. I don't mind, to be honest. The birds are nice because then you have a mask of the birds as well, but they were in the bottom of the baskets and then they're all bent like this one. So I'm just sticking this one on the outside and maybe put it in a bigger as well. And these are all the deco time ones, the strange one. I found an extra one. I have no idea where it goes. I put it in here because it's very similar. And I bought these on um, clearance from Zeeman. They're flexible and sticky. So I keep them in their little bag until I use it. And <laughs> yeah, 25 euro cents. I couldn't leave them in the store now, could I? <laughs> so there's the big one in a big pouch. And that's the whole pound of full. So, <laughs> but they're all together. And uh, hopefully it will work for me this time. We'll see. So I'm excited to try it and it's easier to find what you need. And um, yes, I say, let's hope it goes. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something, maybe took some ideas away. And I will see you again soon. Bye.